This video will demonstrate beat tracking. Beat tracking is basically tapping in time to the beat, finding the regular pulse in the music. However, we're talking about automatic beat tracking, and this will be done by our qm.btrack object here. The audio comes in from the source, either an audio file or a live input. It then goes into our beat tracker here, and then the beat track will output messages when it thinks the beats are. This will cause the button to light up so you can see it. We've also linked uh, the button to a cowbell noise so you can hear when it thinks the beats are. So I'm going to demonstrate beat tracking with an acoustic guitar. I'll play some simple chords and the beat tracker will tap in time with what I'm playing. I'm also going to slow down while I play and it should be able to follow me as I slow down. It may take it a, a couple of seconds to find the correct beat initially. So I'm going to click on live input because my guitar is a live input and I'm going to choose input one. Uh, so here we go. So we have another that couple of controls for the beat tracker. Uh, we can turn it off. Uh, we can turn it on. If the beat tracker's off, then we can count it in. So if we press enter four times, we can uh, initialize it with the tempo that we want. So if I count it in four times, I can initialize it with the tempo. If the beat tracker is on, I can just tap it twice to nudge it in the right direction. So if I think the tempo is slightly different from what it thinks it is, then I can indicate that. So basically beat tracking is simply tapping in time with the music and we're doing that automatically here. Uh, check out our live sync patch for automatically synchronizing audio samples with the tempo of your live performances using beat tracking.